Hey, I'm Phil from Elgato, and this is Voice Focus. Voice Focus uses the power of AI and machine learning to dramatically improve the sound of your microphone. Here, check it out. Voice Focus is part noise suppressor, part isolator, and heaps of AI sorcery. Sounds incredible, right? It's available today with Elgato microphones like Wave 3 and Wave XLR. Now, you might be wondering, hey, didn't you already release Voice Focus earlier in the year? Yep, if you want to go watch that video from Steggy, then check the link in the description. Since the launch of Voice Focus, we've heard nonstop comments from you about how much you love using it in Wavelink, how it's improving your audio, and that you want to use it with other microphones and in other apps. So, I'm excited to say that Voice Focus is now available for any microphone, virtual audio channel, streaming, video, and audio editing software as a VST3 audio effect on Windows or AU on Mac, and you can purchase it from Elgato Marketplace today. So let's take a look at how you can use Voice Focus. With our original launch of Voice Focus, it only worked with an Elgato mic and only on the mic channel. You'd have the option in Wavelink to activate it and set its strength, and that's it, you're all set. Now, with Voice Focus as a VST, after you've installed it, you can now do this for any microphone you add in Wavelink. Now, as I'll make clear in the video later on, you do not need to use Wavelink in order to use Voice Focus VST. But now that Wavelink 3.0 is free to use anyways, we absolutely recommend using it because it's extremely easy to set up and gives you powerful audio routing and mixing capabilities for your live streams. So with your mic input, you simply add the Voice Focus VST and set the strength and you're good to go. So what does this mean? Well, you can now use Voice Focus with any microphone you want and in any software you want, and this opens some really cool possibilities. Put simply, Voice Focus is transformative for any microphone, and here are some examples. Okay, let's go, let's go, it's a 4v5, it's 4v5. Nice, nice kill, let's go. Awesome. <laughs> but I've, I only have five left. Um, can you flank from the right? He's, he's gotta be two. Please, eh, do you have him? It not only enhances your voice, but that of your friends and colleagues as well. You know those friends that have terrible mics or eat chips in Discord? You can now apply voice focus to them. In this example, I'm going to use Wavelink since it's easy. Just add Discord and Wavelink, then add the voice focus effect to it. Check out the difference. Uh, well, I'm talking with, um, talking with the company, trying to figure it out. I just spilled my food everywhere. Oh, oh no. One second. Oh. One second. Okay. It'd be, okay. What? It'd be great if you muted on Discord. Oh. If you're going to be vacuuming. What was that? Are you literally vacuuming right now? And this also works for meetings. Zoom, Slack, Teams all try their best to make your colleagues sound good. But now you can simply add voice focus to them. They'll get an instant mic upgrade and they won't even know it. I think they're widening the road or putting a new sewer in, something like that. Haven't really been able to see. But there's a bunch of barricades on the road and cones and stuff, so it's kind of difficult to get out of here. You can also now use it for video editing. Even with the best microphones in the world, there's still a chance for some unwanted room tone to come through or maybe faint electrical hum or a car driving by. Since Voice Focus is now an audio effect, you can use it in apps like DaVinci Resolve and Adobe Premiere to apply the voice processing to any audio. If you recorded a podcast or filmed a vlog in a noisy event or city, or simply wanted to sound closer to the mic, then you can easily add Voice Focus. In fact, any vocals you record can now sound better. Voice Focus also works as a real-time effect in DAWs like Logic, Pro Tools, FL Studio, or in apps like Audacity and Adobe Audition, so you can take your podcast and ensure that you and your guests sound crisp and clear. Or you can apply it in post and tweak to sound just right. Well, you know how I like everything cordless? One small tip. If you have lots of short clips, consider applying the effect across the entire voice track instead of to each clip individually, as this can result in better audio processing. Well, you know how I like everything cordless? Well. Okay, so what about streaming and using it in OBS Studio? Well, as I talked about earlier, you can add your mic to Wavelink, add voice focus there, and then bring it into OBS Studio or any other app for that matter. However, if you want to run voice focus directly in OBS, you can do that as well. 
OBS Studio does not, however, support VST3 or AUFX out of the box. You'll need to use a third-party plugin, and there's pretty much only one plugin I recommend right now, and that's the ATK Audio plugin. It adds a whole host of audio effect-related options. Once the plugin is installed, you can add voice focus to any audio source by opening the filter menu for that source and then selecting the ATK Audio host and selecting voice focus. Now, you might be wondering about the cost for voice focus. It's available today for $50 on Elgato Marketplace, which when you think about the cost of any new audio equipment, it's easily a fraction of that. So if you've already spent a good amount of money on your microphone or interface and can't stand the thought of parting with them and say replacing them with a Wave mic or Wave XLR, you have this as an option to instantly upgrade the performance of your microphone. If you have a $30 entry level microphone, you have more of a decision to make because you can either spend $50 on Voice Focus VST and get the full suite of options covered in this video, or for about $100, depending on the time of year, you can get our Wave 3 microphone, which includes voice focus for the Wave Mic channel, a massive upgrade over your existing microphone. So it's really up to you. But with the introduction of Voice Focus VST, you have plenty of options to choose from. Installing Voice Focus takes just a few minutes and you don't need any special hardware. First, purchase it from Elgato Marketplace. Make sure to copy the license key. You can always find it in your account purchase history if you need it again. Once you've downloaded it, on Windows, head to C, Program Files, Common Files, VST3. Paste the Elgato Voice Focus VST3 file in that folder. On Mac OS, open Finder and head to Library, Audio, Plugins, Components, and paste the effect there. Now, open the software you want to use Voice Focus in. You may need to scan for new audio effects for your app to find voice focus. Then add voice focus to your audio track or audio input. The first time you add the effect, you'll need to enter the license key. Just paste it in and voice focus is activated and ready to go. So to recap, voice focus is now available as a VST3 effect on Windows and audio unit on Mac. You can apply it to any microphone or other channels you want in Wavelink. You can use it in any software that supports VST3 or audio units. It's perfect for processing your voice in videos, podcasts, vlogs, live streams, and more. It's available with a lifetime license for $50 today. Now, your voice sounds incredible in nearly any environment, whether streaming at home, vlogging on the go, or taking a work call in a cafe. What audio are you gonna process first with voice focus? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the Elgato YouTube channel to stay up to date with our latest videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching.